you've adjusted since you got here last year and what's it like going through spring for the first time? So first I'm going to say uh, it's been great so far. I uh, love it here, you know, during school. Um, but last year was a very year for me, a very good year for me to come in. Basically just be a sponge, you know. Um, Derek Nickerson, he's a great coach. Um, you got Coach G, wonderful coach. And basically just sit under guys like Kiko, you know, um, and learn, man. Take everything, you know what I'm saying? Advice on everything on and off the field. So I'm going to say that helped me a lot. Um, and D Nick also played a big role in helping me with things, you know, on the field, um, you know, helping me watch film. Um, felt like I was pretty ready last year, but um, it was just a sense of, you know, watching and, and it just waited my turn and kind of, you know, understand this is a process, process to fall in love with that process, you know. Got bigger, stronger, so just ready for it this year. And kind of the same vein, kind of like the waiting your turn kind of thing. I mean, Corey transfers, KJ graduates, Kiko's out right now. So you and the other linebackers, how much do you feel like you have like the opportunities to kind of impress coaches and, and do your thing this spring? Man, it's a great opportunity, but not just for me. Uh, I would say in a sense of like with Derek Nicholson, Coach D. Nick, uh, He's a coach that like plays, he cross trains, and that's what we call it. Uh, he uses everybody as in players like Mike, Will, uh, he can go play Will, I play Will sometimes, and all of us, we kind of play Will and Mike. So it's a sense of all of us are always hungry. There's no such thing as us being selfish and, and greedy. We're all hungry, and, and it's really just, man, we love it out here. We get to come out here and compete every day, work on something. My biggest thing, and I have to say my model, I have the world in my room and all that, uh, just find something to get better at every day. Uh, I kind of stand on that, just make sure it's something I can get better with every day that can be on the field or off the field. So I'm going to say that we, 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 it's great in our room when it comes to because we all, we all connect in a sense of we, and we all want to get better and see each other get better. So. You talk about cross training. I mean, what do you feel most comfortable with inside, outside? So, um, good question. Uh, I would say as far as uh, I can do most things, you know, I can track the ball very good, and that's with Mike. Uh, and I can kind of be silent and silent and Mike where Will be more of a cover tight end out the box sometimes. So I'll say I, I, I'm pretty good at both. Favorite, I don't know. I probably uh, say Mike sometimes here and there, but but I also Will too in a sense, you know. But last year I went from Will to Mike, Will back to Mike. And right now I'm at Mike, um, you know. But it's really the same thing too. Uh, it's all the same. But I would say that, man, it's, it's just been great uh, so far being able to learn both because it keeps you on edge once you get comfortable at Mike. Uh, it kind of just, uh, Coach D. Nick is so great. He, he puts you at will this week, and it's a challenge to be putting a new script of uh, calls, and now you're on edge trying to get better. How much of you, how, how's the defense in general coming together? I mean, you got a lot of new pieces trying to. Man, it's great. Uh, I say this again, man, as far as talent, that was never the question. Uh, you know, I've been like Miami since I was a kid, and, and that was never the question uh, as far as talent, you know what I'm saying? And I think the biggest thing for us is just connecting, and now we have a lot of special guys in this room, uh, well, in this defense room, that are, you know, very special, uh, you know, leaders, stepping up, and it's, we're just connecting, man, on, on a bond, a really tight bond. I think that's going to help us out in the long run, especially on this year. But everybody's been great uh, so far. Uh, it's just each and every day, you know, it's still early in the spring, but we're trying to step on it every day and uh, just keep getting better uh, as a group and stand with each other. You, you have a younger brother that's a, that's a baller. Um, how is him watching you do what you do affecting his game? Uh, man, he's actually doing really good right now. Uh, and, man, since I was a kid, he's always been watching me, you know, uh, Markel. He's always been watching me, uh, you know. I didn't know he was he's 6'1 now doing this thing, you know what I'm saying, when if I playing everything, you know what I'm saying, tackle, run, catch the ball. So it's just, uh, man, just him following my footsteps, doing everything I wanted to do. And uh, now, um, since he's watching me, I'm blessed for him to be watching me, you know, at a stage like that and do very good at a stage like that, so. You said he would be better. You still believe that? Football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, uh, <laughs> he's, he's, he's very talented, man. I, like I said, I'm very hard on him. Uh, he probably didn't see this. Uh, I'm very hard on him, but uh, he's, Man, I don't, sometimes I want to tell him, like, man, I wasn't doing that at that age. You know what I'm saying? So just for him just to keep that edge, uh, kind of what I have, and keep wanting to get better at everything. You know what I'm saying? Everything, every day. You talked about leaders. Who are the emerging leaders on defense? Oh, um, man, you, you got a, you got a all-time linebacker right there, Kiko. He's, he's always a leader, man, helping us out with everything. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I remember once I'm, I came in last year, and uh, I seen him come out of the D-line meeting, 
and I was very big on, you know, uh, playbook was the biggest thing when you come in as a freshman, adjusting to that. And I asked him, what are you come doing coming out of the line? Um, and he told me that once you learn the offense, once you learn the, what, what you need to do, you can learn what everybody needs to do and it'll help you play better. So that's been my motto for this year, what's made me play way faster, uh, really take risks and, and, and play with confidence, you know, because uh, that's how you make plays. So just being able to learn what everybody got to do to know where my help is. Who's a tough cover for you? Yeah, man. Uh, like I said, I, I, so I'm originally raised from down here. I moved when I was like 9 or 10, played for South Miami, uh, down here at Great Ghost. So definitely my, you know, my dad Cuban out here. So man, it's, it's, they don't get no better than this because it went everywhere and I, and I don't want to be, I'm glad I told you and don't want to be nowhere else. Who's a tough cover for you at tight end? Ooh, we got uh, this year, we, we got some good ones, man. You got, you got, you got E, Elijah, and you got little E, you know, uh, other Elijah. He's <laughs> crazy. I see him making plays every day. Um, so, man, I'm just say they're all, uh, even with Riley, all of them. Yeah, but I like it because as far as linebackers, we get to go against the best, you know what I'm saying? And Cam Moore ain't getting no better than that. Uh, just go against the best, some tight throws. And when you go up against these other teams, you know, these other ACC teams, you're able to see what it's really like, you know what I'm saying? Why, why can't you get go against anybody better? Man, you just don't get no better than that, man. Tight throws, communication, talking trash. We, 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 uh, we compete, and I think that's what it's coming down to. See, back then, um, I'm sure, you know, speaking from some of the former players back then, the game was very much, um, it was, the, the practices were harder than the games uh, back then, so, and that's what we're trying to bring it to now, and that's what it's looking like now. We're making this very interesting uh, right here on this uh, green tree, so the game could just be easier. This is Elijah but Lofton. Last question for, for Elijah Lofton. Lofton has made quite an impression here as a true freshman. Uh, talk about him, how tough of a cover he is. He seems to constantly be making plays all over. Yeah, yeah. Um, E, man. Uh, first couple days, he didn't say nothing. Kid was just playbook, uh, you know what I'm saying, quiet. But man, really good kid and, 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 and very into, um, you know, what he needs to get done. He's adjusted very well, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just excited to keep being able to compete with him and uh, the other, other tight ends in, the, in that room. Great. Thank you, Pope. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.